With the upcoming release of Ubisoft's much-anticipated The Division 2 just nine short months away, agents have been introduced to three new specialization classes that feature new class-specific weaponry. Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer reporting back for weapon analysis duty, and this video will be episode one in this series, and will feature the Macmillan TAC-50 sniper rifle, which is the class-specific weapon for the new sharpshooter specialization. But before we get into this analysis, here are some basic real-world statistics for the TAC-50. The country of origin is the United States of America. Weight is approximately 26 pounds or 11.8 kilograms. The detachable box magazine holds five rounds. The cartridge fired is the 50 caliber BMG or 12.7 by 99 millimeter NATO and the effective firing range is 1,970 yards or 1,800 meters. Macmillan Firearms Manufacturing first introduced the TAC-50 as an improved version of their previous rifle design, the M87, in the late 1990s, and it entered service in the 2000s. Officially designated as an anti-material rifle, the TAC-50, chambered in 50 caliber BMG, is designed to engage and destroy military equipment rather than against enemy personnel. The TAC-50 is a rotary bolt-action rifle with dual front-locking lugs and the large bolt is instantly recognizable for its spiral flutes that help save weight. Our in-game variant is the Drake Stalker Mark 15 50 Cal BMG Strike Dual Macmillan TAC-50 that uses a Drake Kadex Strike Dual 50 chassis, 26-inch Mark 15 profile Saturn barrel, all mated to the Macmillan TAC-50 long action. This system is designated as SLAM, short for Sniper's Light Anti-Material, and is a direct descendant of the Mark 15 Naval Special Warfare Sniper Weapon System. Since I did not attend E3 and have no personal recorded footage, I am basing this early analysis off of what I have been able to watch and opinions from others that did attend E3 and played the demo. Piecing together what was told to me, I have come up with this basic breakdown concerning the TAC-50, and a lot can change in the next nine months leading up to the launch of the Division 2. And with that being said, let's jump right in. Unlike Destiny or our current version of the Division, these specialized weapons do not require a cooldown timer or have a limited time to use them before being depleted like our current signature skills. Rather, they require that you source available ammo through NPC drops. The TAC-50 can hold five rounds before needing to reload the box magazine and uses the new bolt-action rifle mechanics for the Division 2, and that you will need to unscope to cycle the action for this rifle. In addition, if you continue to hold the trigger down after firing, it will stay scoped in to verify kills. Looking at the available combat footage, we can see that the TAC-50, if aimed properly for enemy weak points, can do significant damage to NPCs, including one shot, one kill potential. Unveiled for the Division 2 is a new bullet penetration mechanic and that rounds can pierce one NPC and travel into another target directly behind that original target. Now as expected, the TAC-50 seems to excel at this type of combat style and for the shooter who is patient and lines up multiple targets could lead to several downed NPCs with one shot. Recoil is extraordinarily high, as is the time to cycle the action of this rifle, but that is to be expected when shoulder firing a 50 caliber sniper rifle. Now at this time, I cannot confirm if the in-game damage potential of the TAC-50 scales to party size or NPC type, although it does not seem to be able to one-shot a boss with a direct headshot. No weapon customization was available for the specialized weaponry during the demo, although it looks as though we will be able to upgrade each specialized weapon as we progress through the game. At this time, I am going to withhold an overall rating for this weapon until I get to actually wield it, either in beta or release, but it certainly seems like it has true long-range killing potential. One mechanic I would like to see added for sniper weaponry in general for the Division 2 would be a record book for headshot kills and at what distance they were achieved. This could apply to not only the TAC-50 but other sniper weaponry in general and could lead to some interesting battlefield footage as agents attempted to one-up other agents for kills at distance. Massive could even tie certain commendations to achieving kills at preset distances. 
Based on my initial impressions, the addition of the TAC-50 is a positive change, and I applaud the design team for attempting to lengthen the sight lines and gunplay ranges for our next division offering. As always, I look forward to reading your thoughts about the TAC-50 or new sharpshooter specialization in the comment section below. If you could take the time to rate the video, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my continuing coverage of the Division or Division 2, make sure to hit that sub button, click on the bell icon, and save to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. I have uploaded nearly 100 detailed weapon reviews from the original Division, and if you'd like to reference any of those past reviews, I will leave a link in the video description below to that entire playlist. You can also find me over on Twitch with weekly streams at twitch.tv forward slash Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. Until my next Division 2 weapon analysis, this has been Buzz saying peace out.